Here's the thing, I'm going to read the Bible. This is the sixth chapter. Elijah helped a family. One first Kings seventeen. Oh, I think we have the second Kings also. How can we possible? It didn't rain for a very long time. The curt raven dried up. The people didn't have enough food. The crops didn't grow well. Where should I get the food to eat? Prayed Elijah. Go to Zar a pot. A window will take. Widow will take care of you. Of you there. Elijah went to Zar pot. When Elijah went into the town gate, a window was gathering sticks. Elijah said to her, "Can." I have some water and bread. The woman said, My son and I only have enough flour and oil for the one last meal. Elijah replied, Don't worry. Prepare, prepare food. Bring the bread to me first. Then cook something for your son and you. God will not let you hungry, go hungry until the rain, your floor and oil will never run out. The woman did what Elijah said. Elijah, the woman and her son had enough to eat after that. God took care of the woman and her son sought Elijah. When the woman thanked Elijah for giving her enough food, Elijah thanked the woman for the food too. 27th chapter. A room for Elisha. 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 This Elijah and this one and this Elisha. Elisha often travels to the town of Shaman. Please eat with us. When you pass over our house, a sure woman said to Elisha, I know you work for God. We want to help you. Elisha was preaching God's word. The sure Woman and her husband wanted to help Elisha. They invited him for dinner. Elisha liked to eat with them. Elisha knew they loved God. The Shanamant woman prepared something wonderful for Elisha. She asked her husband to make something for Elisha. Come this way. The room woman took Elisha to a nice room. There were a bed, a table, and a chair. Even a lamp was there. We made this room for room just for you. Whenever you are here, you can sleep in this room. Well, there is a nice curtain and a bed and one table to study God's thing and also a lamp and a flower.
Alicia was happy to see the room. It was a comfortable room. Thank you. You have prepared everything for me in this room, said Alicia. We are proud that we, you work for God. We are happy to help you, said the woman. Naaman met God. 28 chapter Naaman met God. 2 Kings 5. Naaman was a great enemy commander in Syria. He was a brave soldier, but he had a treble skin disease called leprosy. Naaman Israel's servant girl said, Go see the prophet Elisha in Israel. He can help heal you. Naaman took many gifts with him. He took the king's letter to the king of Israel. He reached Elisha home by his charito. Elisha sent out a man with a message. Wash your face seven times in the Jordan, you will be healed. Jordan River is a very dirty river. At first time, Naaman was mad at Elisha. He thought it was a silly thing to do. Elisha didn't even come out and see me. He doesn't even pray for me in the name of the Lord. He doesn't even touch me. Jordan is not the only river I have saw. Naaman was mad and tried to go back home. On his way home, his servant told him, Please go to the Jordan. This is not a hard thing to do. You just watch yourself. Naaman went to the Jordan as Elisha said. He washed himself seven times. Naaman's skin became clean like a uh, like that of a child. His skin disease was gone. Naaman was very happy. Naaman came back to Israel. He tried to give Elisha gifts gifts. Elisha didn't accept escape the gifts. Elisha told him to serve God. Naaman was healed. He didn't want he did what Elisha said. Elisha told him about God. Actually, there's something nonsense in this story. That man is Elisha, and now he's saying he's a servant. I think who have made this picture, I think he have made it wrong accidentally, right? I will read one more story. Nine, 29th chapter. Joshua repaired the temple to Tornisil 24. King Josh loved God. He didn't want to please God. God pleased. He want his people to do what God pleased. He wants his people come to God's temple oftenly. God's temple was not in good shape. People didn't take good care of the temple. I have to repair the house of God. King Josh made up his mind and to repair it. I need money to do it. Make a big box and collect collect offerings and put it outside the temple. King Josh commanded.
people were happy to repair the temple. They brought offerings. When the box was full, King's servants took the offerings out and put the box back. King Joshua collected a lot of money to repair the temple. King Joshua just gave the money to the workers. He heard Mashans the carpenters. He hear Herrick workers from metal work. They worked very hard. They repaired the temple very well. They rebuilt the temple of God according to the Oregon design. They made things for God temple. With the rest of the money, the temple became to wor became a worship place. The temple became a happy place. Yes, today I read the Bible story. I think I have read three or four stories. And next time I will read 13th chapter. Building a new wall. Nehemiah 76. Yeah, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? Bye! Yeah, please subscribe it.